Fio K3 headphone amp or a computer dock. I'm going to show you all of its functionalities and share my user experience with you as I have been using it for the past two years. It features a USB-C data connection to the computer. I'm using a USB-C to USB-C cable directly plugged into the MacBook 16 inch. You can optionally get the USB type A to USB type C cable and connect to any computer or use a hub for that. So let's take a look at all the ports first. The volume knob has a positive stop and acts as an on off switch. There's a blue indicator there. When it is on, the audio output can be picked from the menu selection drop down on a MacBook. For Windows users, I think you can do the same. There's a bass on off and a gain switch. These toggle switches, uh, normally I wouldn't use them as I aim for high fidelity, right? It has four outputs. Two of the, two of the uh, four outputs are digital outputs. And let's take a look at the front analog outputs first. The first one is probably gonna be the most frequently used one, the headphone jack 3.5. The other one is a balanced output, which I do not have. The beauty of using such device is that I can hook up a pair of high quality headphones and a pair of external speakers to its line out in the back. That's the 3.5 line out. So both analog audio outputs would be able to con be able to control the volume using the same knob and I can keep them sort of permanently connected as soon as my laptop is docked in to my hub or something. And this thing is always connected to the computer and these Two cables are connected to the uh, DAC uh, at this, you know, permanently. So I don't have to worry about always plugging to my headphones to the computer from its built-in 3.5 jack. Let me give you a quick demo. That volume is controlled here. I would not expect the line out to get the volume uh, knob like this, but this is how it desi it's designed. Uh, I would think the line out should not be able to allow this volume adjustment affect its output. Um, that is debatable. Okay, and also it has dual digital outputs in the back. Back in 2000, uh, pre-2017, the MacBook has a 3.5 jack mini Toslink uh, optical output and that got removed. And this is a great way to add it back to the MacBook and get digital output from uh, whatever audio source you're playing. And these can be used to connect to a large stereo system such as a Yamaha or Sony receiver. So coaxial output and optical output. The USB audio, let me actually unplug this cable to get a better view. The line out USB audio 1.0 and 2.0, I believe that is for backward compatibility. Normally I just use 2.0 at all times. Uh, basically that's it. Uh, using the Optical output, I would, I would be able to use a sound bar, for example, uh, to connect to my computer at my desk, mounted under my desk. And that is our quick and easy way to get an um, digital, digital output uh, reliably as soon as my computer is docked in as, again. So I may have three audio sources connected at all times and toggle between uh, different ones by using their own built-in power switch. So only I can get easily get uh, headphones permanently connected 
or uh, using external 3.5 jack speakers or a big receiver or a sound bar with a three point with a optical output in. So that's how you can use it. Um, yeah, it's a great device, very well made. All the knobs uh, are metal. This is another detailed view of this product. Yeah, I can highly recommend it. Uh, like it a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find this review helpful.